Hi everyone and welcome to Gigi ahead of a brilliant card at Belmont Park on Saturday night. Outside of the Breeders' Cup, this is the best day of racing in America. They've got no fewer than eight grade ones. And of course the feature is the Belmont States itself. Plenty of controversy and Rich Strike missed the Preakness. And the general consensus seems to be that he will not be able to win the Belmont. He was a beneficiary of a very fast early pace in the Kentucky Derby and that contributed to his finishing kick. I have to say I do agree just because horses close doesn't necessarily mean that they will stay. But stamina is a bit of a concern about the favourite for this race as well. We the people who was devastating in the main local prep for this last time. That was over a little bit shorter than this, the Peter Pan stakes. But... He did it from the front on a track that probably suited him in that it was sloppy and sealed, but it was the ability he showed on that occasion it means I'm very much with him here. His trainer says you can put a run before a run through his previous start, which was in the Arkansas Derby when he was just at two wide. And I think this is a horse with a lot of talent. Plus, he might well get those wet conditions again because there is rain forecast. Apart from him, I do quite like the filly here, Ness. She closed really well to finish second in the Kentucky Oaks last time out, and she's by Curlin, so on pedigree, she's got more credentials to see out of this trip. So those who look the interesting ones for me in that, and I should also mention Mo Donegal, who of course beat the Preakness winner when closing very nicely in the Wood Memorial two starts ago. He was another one who maybe benefited from the fast early pace when fifth in the Kentucky Derby, but you certainly can't rule him out. But especially if it rains, I'm with the favorite here for the Belmont, we the people. The main turf race on the card is the Manhattan, and this is a great contest. A lot has been made about the, the small field sizes on Saturday night, but this is really open. The one I like in here is Santine, who's been a huge improver this year at Fort Godolphin over in the States. He won the grade one turf classic over a mile and one last time. Does have to step up to the mile and two, but I don't think that will be a worry. He's a very lightly race, he's only had six starts, is a horse with a great deal of upside to him. I think Highland Chief, who won last time out in the Man of War, probably needs the soft ground, which again, they might well get. I was thinking he needs a bit further than this to be seen to best effect. And Tokyo Gold has so far struggled when he's gone over to America. He's zero from two at Belmont, so I'm inclined to go against the European Raider here. If there is a big danger to Santine, I think it's probably Gufo, though he's another horse that I really feel wants further than this. I think he's a proper mile and a half horse, a really lovely animal though, and he has got a win at Belmont to his name, and he was third in this race that last time last year behind domestic spending but Santine for me in the Manhattan. The Met Mile is the race that everyone's talking about. It's always one of the best races they have in North America. And even though there aren't very many in it, Flight Line is widely regarded by a lot of people to be the best in the world. The numbers back that up. He looks like a bit of a freak. He's won three from three so far, but he hasn't ever traveled outside of California. He's never gone further than seven furlongs. And the other thing that concerns me is he's coming here off a little bit of a break. We haven't seen him since the Malibu. And he does also have to face older horses further for the first time. So I think this is the day to take him on. He's brilliant if he wins this, don't get me wrong, and he might be brilliant anyway. But Speaker's Corner is a horse who I never would have thought would be able to live with one like Flightline, but he's got a win over the track. He's a pretty useful sort himself. He's six from nine in his career. And last time out, he had grade one performance behind him when he was very much the best in the grade one Carter. He won that by four and a half lengths. The horse who finished about four spots behind him drafted has come out since and won twice. So for me, Speaker's Corner can upset flight line in the Met Mile. I shouldn't ignore Aloha West either. He's stepping up to the mile for, a first, for the first time. Wasn't exactly closing with a wet sail over seven furlongs last time though. And then you've also got Happy Saver, who's capable on his day. He, of course, is a grade one winner already at Belmont. That came in the Jockey Club Gold Cup a couple of years ago. But he's a horse who probably wants a bit further. So I'm going to go with the upset Speaker's Corner in the Met Mile. The Grade 1 Jaipur is another really open event. This is a turf race. I absolutely adore Casa Creed. He came over and raced here at Maidan. Closed nicely, actually, on the rail for fifth in the Alcor Sprint. His run prior to that, though, in Saudi was really good. He only missed out by a nostril behind Songline, who the other day went out and won one of the biggest races in Japan, the Yasuda Kinen. So I'm very keen on Casa Creed here off the break. The other one I think is a danger to him is a Resmi Red who goes in here for Wesley Ward. Could have sent into Royal Ascot, but he doesn't want anything to mess with the horses he's got there already. So this guy stays home. He's really interesting. And a few of these behind him last time when he won the Grade 2 Churchill Down Stakes. So I think he's a danger to Casa Creed there. A couple more to touch on quickly. The Grade 1 Ogden Phipps is a brilliant race. The truck's get aiming to win that for the second year in a row. And I think she will, although she does have the wonderful Malathat to beat. Malathat was, of course, in front of her in the Breeders' Cup D 
good stuff last year, but Malathat really wants a bit further than this one mile and one. So I think Latresca can win that one. A fascinating race in which four of the five of them are grade one winners. And I'll give you a couple of bankers early on on the card. Well, certainly the banker for many people will be Jack Christopher in that grade one, Woody Stevens. And although it looks pretty competitive, the just a game for the Phillies on the turf, I think can go to speak of the devil. Maybe she can make it two from two in the US. Best of luck.